What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Juizy. Welcome to another edition of Juizy Delivers. My long time viewers, welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Wednesday, November 8th. And as you can tell, we are in the same area. We are in like close to Hollywood, Florida, and we are going to accept orders in Hollywood, Florida. We're gonna see what happens. We're actually gonna go closer to the beach area where all the high rises are at so that we can try to repeat another $200 day like yesterday. It does require a lot more walking and going up and down elevators, but every single high rise that I went to yesterday, it did. they did it all, allow me to park there, so it, the parking was not an issue. I love it. So let's see if we can do it again in the Hollywood, Florida area. It is, if, uh, well, I'll tell you guys, once we get to the area, I'm going to show you guys the, the, the map and, you know, show you exactly where I'm at. But with that being said, let's not waste any more time on this intro. Oh, like I already told you, we're going to try to repeat the $200 day. I don't know. We will see what happens. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end, and you know what? Fitch if it is me, do the delivery just for my people. We're not going to waste any more time. It's going to be probably the fastest intro in Joe Easy Delivers history. But it's all right. Let's get the hustle started. Let's go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. My people, flat tire. A flat tire. I love it. Yes. There's a 7-Eleven right there, and I was gonna put some air, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just put, you know, let me just change it right now. I'm gonna just change the flat. Forget it. That is your chance to be rude. Hey, kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget It's not lifted 100% but Just like that So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time Test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid Always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds People can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive I'm not sure what's causing it I don't know It looks like a cheap It looks like a cheap uh, A cheap tire It just looks cheap They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Okay, we're done. Let's just... Let's put the tires up. I don't want to drive around with this tire. It's too small. You know that something tells me that... I don't know. I mean, I may be, I may be just hallucinating, but... I think that somebody like a tire company came over here and slashed my tires because or at least one tire because I didn't have the low I didn't like it, it didn't I didn't get the the sign like it, it wasn't low when I got here last night so I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a low a tire company and, there, and if there's one close by I'm not going to that one I'm going to another one okay so there's actually a Walmart auto place let's go there I know they won't slash my tires for sure Walmart won't do it there's probably there's a there's like a, a community tire place there. Nah, 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 I'm gonna go to Walmart. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it really did get flat, but let's just go, man. It's like one mile away. All right, I just went to Walmart and and they don't have the tires, so they have so many tires, but not the one I need. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to a place called Tire Station. I mean, come on, it's a tire place. It's called Tire Station. They have to have all types of tires, right? Hopefully, I don't know. You know what I could do too? I didn't want to do it, but I could just ask them if they could patch the tire. It's cheaper, but I don't know. I gotta replace those tires. Those tires, like it's like shredding, like a, like it's going through a shredding machine. And I'm like, normally tires don't do that. At least usually tires, like they're like bald. You know, it starts going bald and smooth. But this one is like rough and rigged, and there's like holes everywhere. So I was like, man, maybe I should replace. It, you know? Look, I don't know if you can see it through the screen, but let me show you real quick. You see this? Like, why are these tires, why, does, why do the tires have that everywhere? You see it? Tires usually don't do that. 
at least, at least not, I mean, it, it doesn't do that for me. What is that, you know? It's like it went through, I don't know. That's not normal. Okay, so they're just gonna fix it, guys. They're gonna fix it, and look look what it is. This metal thing right here. I don't know, man. Uh, no, I don't think, no, nobody did it, because look, this is from the inside of the car. So, man, that's crazy. Yeah, they're just gonna fix it. I don't wanna be paying for a new tire right now. All right, my people, so they got the tire fixed instead of uh, getting a whole new tire, so I'm wasting, I wasted a lot of time. It's 9.15 in the morning. So I waste a lot of time. I'm not gonna make $200, but at least I saved over $100, like 150 bucks just to get a new tire. So um, I guess there's that, you know? So we gotta see the positive with the, with the negatives. Well, my people, we are officially at Hollywood. It says here, oh, you can't really see it from here, but uh, it says, welcome to Hollywood. So welcome to Hollywood, it says, let's go. All right, we're almost here. We are two miles away. All right, my people, we made it too. And I couldn't record it because I came in through the back because there was construction, but I'll show you guys as we continue working. But we're here in Hollywood. I'm gonna zoom out. And the address is 1740 Polk Street, Hollywood. So I'm gonna zoom out. That's the water. And right there, Hollywood, zoom out, zoom out. Yesterday I was up here somewhere. I was up there, or Fort Lauderdale. So now we are here. All right, let's get the party started. Let's do it. So it has been a horrendous day so far. As you can tell, it's 1242. Well, this is a screenshot, but it is 1242. It's like 1245. Is, what time is it? What's the real? 1244. I screenshotted this because I'm like, man, I'm not getting Instacart orders. I saw one Instacart order, $10 for 13 items. And I'm like, nah, man, I don't want to be doing that. And I didn't take it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, man, I haven't got any orders. Zero dollars at 12.44. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Let me turn on the food apps. And this is the order, the first order that I see. Three dollars. I'm like, oh man. So guys, if I don't even make fifty dollars, I'm warning you right now. If you guys want to turn me off, I apologize. I love every single one of you, but I might not even get to fifty. But we will be here for, you know, until we could get something at least. Guys, it's been so long. That, that I got on DoorDash and I, I forgot I was even online. So we're gonna do this order, $7.50. No, you know what? I don't wanna do this, man. No, 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 ah. No, I don't wanna do it. You yeah, just do it. Oh, wow, that was quick. I didn't think I was gonna make it. All right. We made it to Pizza Hut. I already told you, right? It was a, it was a Pizza Hut order. Uh, but let me just show you real quick. I haven't shown you anything. I've been stuck in that garage the whole day. So, um, this is it right here. The Pizza Hut is like to my right somewhere. So let's go get it. All right, we got the order. It's a big pizza box. It doesn't fit in the pizza bag, but let's get it. Thank you. Okay, the time is 1.32 and we accepted an order. I don't like it, but let's just do it. It is a $24 order for two customers. I don't like two customers and I just saw that as an apartment, one of them. But let's just do it. $24, 25 items. It is $1 per item, but I don't know, man. It just, these items, like a lot of times it's not worth it, but I'm just gonna take it because I haven't seen anything today. It seems like a slow Publix. So, so that I could avoid not having any money. Let's do it. Uh, two customers, $24, 25 items. There's no cases of water though. That's the only positive, but let's go get it. Okay, Caesar Ranch dressing, but which one? The 16 ounce right here for A. I got the wrong one. Which one do I need? Oh, I need ranch, not Caesar. Duh. So ranch right here. We need this here for customer A, the mesquite barbecue. All right, potato wedges. I mean, no, well. I have a story about that. Oh no, no story about the potato wedges. Is that there's a line there to get it. So I was like, we need the power. The orange one is back here. 28, 20 ounce. This for customer A. We need five organic bananas for customer B. Right here. I don't have to break nothing, break anything. And I'm home. Perfect. Seven for customer A. All right, my people. So I was literally recording with the camera off. 
so I didn't I didn't tell you guys anything that I got but we got this we're not done yet but we this is item customer B we got all this stuff for customer B this is customer A in the little basket and up there so let's finish up we need some glazed donuts for customer A but which one the 12 original glazed donuts no this is it but the 12 so as you can see here it's the same thing Krispy Kreme original glazed do dozen Krispy Kreme original glaze 12 so it's the same thing it's just different packaging and then this thing and this thing gets me mad like it doesn't for it makes it doesn't let you force it because it says oh make a refund scan a different item so now I have to scan an item that doesn't scan so I could force scan it so Instacart if you're watching this the make a refund is a is a is a bad decision but you know what let me just replace it how about that it's probably the same price anyway oh this one is like $16 so it's more money why is it more money? So I got I got saved. The huge line was for the sub for the subs, not for the hot food. So we got the wedges. All right, this here says five o'clock, and it's more than two hours. The customer says to if it's within two hours, substitute or refund. But this is like at five. It's only one fifty-five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, way more. Eight piece, eight piece. That's all they got. Oh, they want the twenty, which is they want the twenty piece, but. This is hot and spicy. Yeah, let's get the regular one. They said substitute, so so they're actually good with the hot and spicy. Uh, this is due at four, so it's five. You guys have an Instacart there for a wrap? An Instacart order for a wrap? Yes. Yeah, it's for uh, green wise for customer B. Two of these orange juice. All right, need this for A. This uh, lemonade. Okay, my lovely humans, it's been 35 minutes and we are done. This is order A on top, this stuff on top, and then the thing in the in the basket, and then order B is on the left. And, ah, man, 35 minutes and I still have to deliver. That's why, you know, like, I wasn't feeling right about this order, but I took it because I had so, there was been so many hours of not working, so, I mean, I wanted to get out with something. But uh, this is why I don't, I usually don't accept, like, stuff like this you know i'd rather do the the order that you guys saw but with 38 dollars for all those cases of water i'd rather do that because it's simple i don't mind care lifting heavy weights you know it's easy uh, at least for me it's easy lifting lifting weights is not really or lifting heavy items is not that that big a deal for me you know i know everybody's different but all right let's go pay for this and deliver and stop complaining let's go so i end up separating it in in two different bags i mean two different carts so i have the left card this is i do that when i'm paying not there's people that shop with two carts i used to do that but now i do it with one cart and then i'll separate it if it's too many bags i'll separate it after do it like that and then let's put it in the cart okay we got the order with all the frozen stuff here so to keep it nice and frozen and then the other order is right here and i'm gonna tell you right now this order that you see here was more work for me than the eight cases of water and the and the all that sugar that I had to buy. The 300 pound order plus whatever the water weight, that was less work than this. And just so, just so you guys have an idea of how my brain works, I guess, or not my brain, but how, how my mind works. You know, I rather lift heavy items than having to deal with replacements and refunds and then the customer was asking about some other things too and then you know which is which is fine you know it's part of the, the work the, it's part of the the job but you know if, if i could just go in and out quick even if i have to carry eight cases of water i prefer that but uh but yeah let's go deliver this though So we got another similar order here, $22, 24 items, but three customers, so it's even worse. So I'm, and it's a bunch of water. Oh, somebody took it. 
Oh no, yeah, I guess. Man, guys, we're not gonna make a hundred. So, I'm warning you guys. Oh my goodness, so slow. Oh my goodness, as I was crying and complaining, we got a $19 order for one customer only. Let's go. 13 items too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Okay, you know what? This is this is a, a test. I need to stop, like, I need to be relaxed. Like, be more patient. Because every time I'm not, I'm waiting for, like in the beginning it was like two hours. I'm like, oh my goodness. I know people wait even longer for orders. Like, they'll wait four hours. So it's like, I don't know, man. I gotta relax and just know that orders will come through eventually. But, okay, let's go get it. $19, one customer, 13 items. Let's go get it. We got vanilla cake for our first item. Blueberry muffins, uh, let's see if they have them here. Yeah, I think this is it. Let me make sure. Yeah, we got it right here, blueberry. Two gluten-free Cheerios, just buy one, get one free. Right here, sun chips, the, the red one, the garden salsa, salsa. Purified water, one of these. So the customer wants the 24 uh, Ziploc bags, the freezer, but they don't have it. I think the only one is, what is it they want, the gallon? Yeah, they want the gallon. The only one they have is the 10 right here. This is the only one, 10. They don't have the 24. Oh, they have the 20, well, they have the 28, but it's not the the one that, you know, this this the zipper one. Oh, the customer pre-approved another one here. Freezer slider, so I think 15, right? Or 10, no, 10. So the customer wants slider, freezer. I think they want this one, if anything. Yeah, this one. Come on, 24 plates. I need the 24 plates. Where you at? Where you at? So I'm gonna replace it. Oh wait, unless it's over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I saw it in the last second, right as I was about to substitute it. Wow. 64 ounce of this bad boy over here. So I need 32 ounce zero sugar right here, I think. Yeah, this is it, zero sugar. All right, we're good. We need half a gallon of milk over here. Last item is this cheesecake. Let's see if we have six and then we're done. We got the last six, I love it. Last one, I think it's this. Yeah, we're done. Two. All right, my lovely humans, it's been 12 minutes and we are done. Oh my goodness, oh man, I love it. I could give the customer a uh, very, very great customer service and I'm not stressed out and everything's in stock. Let's go pay for this and deliver, let's do it. So we're gonna use our handy dandy wagon again. I wasn't gonna use it, but the app brought me to the back of like some complex for some reason, I don't know. And then when I realized it was already too late, but I could go through the through these cracks here. So I'm gonna deliver this and let's go. And plus there's water anyway, so I think I, I would need the wagon anyway. Alright, so yesterday there was a customer that was that texted me when I was knocking. I would just leave it at the door, but it was a handed to customer. And then today there's a second customer that they said just to leave it. Another one said, I think I recorded it, said to leave it. Oh yeah, on the ring bell, doorbell camera, they said to leave it. It was a, it was a, it was a meet at door. And this one, the same thing. So I was like, man, like, I wish I could just say, leave, put the leave it at door, you know? I mean, I like to follow directions, not just assume, you know, the customer wants to leave it. You know what I'm saying? If that, you know, is that so much to ask? You know what I'm saying? Am I complaining too much about it, you know? Uh, because remember a lot of retired people live here you know so some people need help especially when there's water orders you know but let's continue i don't know if my this eye right here every time i'm recording it looks red i don't know is it red huh not sure all right let's continue let's go i hit this order my people i hit it i don't want to do it. 11 dollars for 16 items 1.1 miles nah it has to be less miles i mean less items than that i mean i know no no I've already did that twenty-two dollar order. Let me let me continue waiting. I'm gonna watch. Oh, I, I, there's gonna a new episode of the morning show on the Apple TV just came out, so I'm gonna watch that. The Publix that I was at yesterday is is red. It's busy, but I can't go because it's too. Well, no, I committed to Hollywood. Hollywood is slow, guys. Like it's red up here, but it's not red down here where I'm at. I mean, it's red here in this Costco. And look, this is the this is where I was before. Where it was amazing, 
this was uh, there by the billionaire bunker I'm not gonna go there guys because this video is about getting orders here in Hollywood so I gotta stay here in Hollywood the whole day the time is 441 and we accepted a ten dollar and fifty cent order Publix but Publix liquor so it's a liquor order for two items that's what I want that, those are the orders I love let's go hello hello how you doing good, good. and I got the yeah you have the what do you have the mixes like yeah. seltzer water Oh, uh, rosary. I don't know if to pay for this here or go over there. Um, how many do you need? I need five. So what I always recommend you guys do when you see an item on, on a liquor order that's not a bottle of liquor, beer, wine, whatever, grab it over there and then have somebody walk you over. That way I can ring up everything at once. Oh, okay. Can I do that now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay, I'll be back. I'll, I'll, I'll hold everything for you. Okay, perfect. So I just got to get three of those. Yeah, yeah. So I have a dilemma here. It's a liquor order, and then I, th I hope I was able to, to record it. The guy said that to get what you need here, that's not liquor, and then take it, get someone to take you to walk with you to the, the liquor section so they don't think that I'm stealing, you know? So I'm, I'm trying to look for this right here. It's right here. Oh, aisle five. So this thing thinks that I'm in the... So it's aisle five, I think. Uh, they they, they got to fix that. All right, I lied, guys. I was actually here in the same aisle, so it's uh, I gotta get three of these. So let me get three of them. Hey, how you doing? I, Hi. I gotta pay for this at the liquor store with some with a bottle of vodka, but I gotta pay for it together. And then they're telling me if, if someone could just walk me over there, so I don't think that I'm stealing it, you know? Yeah, okay. Oh, you got more stuff already? Yeah, I need. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, I apologize. I think I'm just going to have to end the shift. It's 610. Haven't gotten anything yet. Just at 52 plus the 750 on DoorDash. And there's really nothing here. Like, this this area is very slow. I mean, this area is not that bad. It's, it was orange. I guess it's still Hollywood, but... I mean... Uh, I might as well just call it a day call it a day oh man so if i don't do well i'll get with the guys on the final numbers if i do do an order i'll just let you guys know in the end all right all right ladies and gentlemen if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching all right this is how much you made for the day on instacart we made 52 dollars and eight cents on uber eats we made ten dollars and 38 cents and on doordash we made seven dollars and fifty cents for a total of sixty nine dollars and ninety six cents we did a, a one order off camera. It was an Uber Eats order. We did a $10.38 38 cent Uber Eats order, 4.2 miles, 28 minutes to complete. And then I decided, you know what? Forget, I'm just gonna drive home. It was like a 35 mile drive. I said, I'm gonna go home, call it a loss. So that is it. That's how we ended. I mean, it's, it was a bad day today, uh, on this video and then it was a bad day on Monday. But the $200 day has us averaging $118 Per day i guess so we have had worse uh we have had worse weeks start to the weeks but we will pick it up we're not gonna have any more any or we're not gonna have any days off even though on friday i have to go to a wedding and i think that's in the late afternoon so even then man and it's right now it's the next day it's thursday it's crickets i had a 56 dollar banger that someone took it I, I i was able to open it and then click accept but somebody took it and in a 39 dollar banger somebody took it it was i can't be faster than you know what no 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 let me not say anything but i couldn't someone accepted it already it is what it is whatever with that being said guys hopefully that hopefully in the weekend we will make it up because i'm not going to take any more days off but that is it no more complaining we will get back into it. And if we have a slow week, we have a slow week. That's it. We'll just try again next week. And that's it. Uh, the only problem, when it starts getting an issue is if it's so slow that like I'm not making any money. So we're still able to make money. We just have to sometimes, you know, either work late or something, but it's okay. We're still doing good. Now, with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video, uh, it's already the end. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos, me do deliver to Chicago, my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Juicy. Let's go.